How's it going everybody? Today's video is about news and updates for uh, ME, CFS. Um, it's just a few things here to show you things are going in the right direction. There are people fighting on your behalf. There is research and studies happening. Um, it's going to be short and sweet, just a few things on here. I'll put uh, a link in the description so you can dive a little deeper. I want to keep this relatively short. So I'll jump right in. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to go over here is um, the NIH is doing a study that details self-reported experiences with post-exertional malaise uh, in ME and CFS. Now, uh, the researchers uh, recruited 43 individuals with ME and CFS to participate in a nine uh, focus group setting. Um, and they went over things about what activities led to it, um, how long it lasted, techniques they used to decrease the symptoms, um, everything that entails uh, PEM. Uh, the focus groups were part of a larger study taking place at the NIH. Um, it's designed to take a comprehensive look at MECFS uh, that's preceded by an infection. The goal of the larger study is to identify clinical and biological aspects of ME and CFS that may improve the understanding of causes of the disease and changes the disease has uh, over time. Now some of the people uh, overseeing these groups had quotes that said uh, it was striking to hear the extent to which PEM can affect the quality of your life. The widespread symptoms and the unpredictability of PEM and sometimes the lengthy recovery greatly hinders an individual's ability to live a normal life. So you're getting people at the NIH that are starting to understand what ME is, what it's about, what it's like to live with. Post-exertional malaise is a big part of ME and CFS, uh, it's pretty exclusive. It's a pretty exclusive symptom. It's unique to ME and CFS. So I think it's great that they're taking a look at it. They're seeing how simple tasks can really affect and derail your day uh, or week or longer, as we know. So I think this is very encouraging. Um, it, you know, it's not a giant breakthrough, but it's very encouraging to be acknowledged in this way. Um, the second thing I have here is the CDC launches a new ME CFS. Uh, guidance for clinicians. The CDC has posted extensive content on the agency website aimed at helping healthcare providers diagnose and care for patients with ME CFS. So I think that's obviously important because a lot of us know what it's like with certain healthcare providers who may not know enough about ME CFS. They can go to this website and these healthcare providers can understand a little bit more about diagnosis, maybe a little bit more about post exertional malaise and go about creating a treatment plan and just understanding it better. So I think that's also very encouraging uh, to, to hear. Uh, last but not least, the Mayo Clinic removes graded exercise therapy and cognitive behavioral therapy from its webpage. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but we all know how harmful graded exercise therapy can be. And to have the Mayo Clinic acknowledge that by removing, um, by removing that is, is very important in my opinion. Um, graded exercise therapy has been proven time and time again that it could be very, very harmful. And small little things like this may not seem like a lot, but it may prevent someone out there who's new to MECFS from going on a reputable uh, site like Mayo Clinic's website and saying, oh, graded, ex graded exercise therapy is treatment for MECFS and really hurt themselves short term and long term. So th these small steps really amount to a lot in my opinion. Um, I do think the pandemic has slowed research, has slowed studies uh, in every different uh, avenue of, uh, of studies, not just for ME and CFS, but other illnesses. And um, that's unfortunate, but it is nice to hear these small things happening. So I hope that everyone's doing well. Like I said, I wanted to keep this short, but these are just a few things that are going on. Um, I will, I'll post another video like this when I see uh, more things that I, I think is important to share. I hope everyone's doing well out there. Um, if this video helps you at all, please subscribe. Um, I'm always posting about uh, ME and CFS related topics, not just news, but you know, experience and, and life with it. So uh, I hope you're doing well. Take care. Until next time.